What's going on YouTube? This is Al B back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about using the Surface Pro 7 for music production. Now today I'm going to specifically be using FL Studio 20 because that is my DAW of choice. Um, I'm going to load in some VSTs and just give it a general feel for how it is to use that for music production. Now this might be a good option for those of you looking for a mobile option or for those of you that might not even have a main workstation. We're going to check it out and see if it's even feasible to use it as your only production system. So you can have it on the go. You can bring it with you to the studio. You can take it back home and you kind of can work wherever you are. So I'm going to give it a try and give you guys my general opinion of how it feels and kind of how it functions. Um, so before we get into it, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me so I can keep bringing out this dope content. Without further ado, let's get into it. And this is the 10th gen Intel Core i7 processor with 256 gigabytes of storage, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And that 256 gigabytes of storage is SSD. So it should be pretty fast. All right, let's quit playing. At this point, I'm teasing myself. Let's open it up. Wow, already this thing is looking nice. Yikes! <laughs> this is looking good. Bag, I already put fingerprints on it. <laughs> Yes, sir. Looks really nice. So there we have a USB-C port, a USB 3.0 port, and it looks like the power, is that the power magnet or the where the magnetic power connection goes? It does actually have a headphone jack. This is feeling awesome. This feels really good. Let's open the back of it up. Let's see how that feels. Let's sit to the side right here and let's see what we have inside of here. We have your typical starter, starter stuff. Throw that to the side, who cares? We have this in here, which is, what's this gonna be? This is going to be a power brick. And what do we have here? So you just have your extension piece. Um, and then you have your regular power brick. 
The unique part about this power brick is that it does have a USB charger port on it. So this is my charging station. So you will have to carry this with you. I did get this with the Surface Pro Type 7 cover. It's got a, or just a poppy red. Let's open this up. When you look at this in some of the, like on Amazon or even in the Microsoft store, this has more of an orangey feel, but in person, it's definitely red. And I should have took the time to read the description better because it says poppy red in the description. It just looked more like dark burgundy-ish color online. So I ordered it, but probably we'll, we'll be replacing this with the black one or with the silver silver one to match the, the matte, the platinum. Ooh, that clips on pretty easily. And it clips on pretty securely too, actually. So that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. Let's see. Snaps right into place. Just that simple. What can you do with it from this perspective? You can I'm back. This is day two. I had to change into a new shirt because I took a shower. But it took me all night to download Omnisphere, and I know I had to try Omnisphere up here. You guys were going to get me, and I was going to get called out in the comments. So I downloaded Omnisphere, got it installed. I'm currently running three instances of Omnisphere, and I'm having no real lag issues. The only thing I've seen um, that suggests lag or slowing my computer slowing down is my animations inside of FO Studio are getting a little sluggish. But at this point, I've got a fully occupied project. I have three instances of Omnisphere. I have Analog Lab 4. I have Pigments loaded. I have um, Flex loaded as well, which is a image line native VST. So it might be more efficient than the other third party VST that I just named. Uh, but for the most part, I think that that's pretty good and pretty average for people to have, you know, four or five VSTs loaded in addition to the actual drums, which do n almost nothing to the PC. So all in all, I would say that this Surface Pro is performing really well. And I even have a lot of mixer effects loaded. Now, granted my mixer effects, I didn't go through and download all of my like waves VST um, effects and uh, like Slate Digital and all of those type of things that I, that I do own. Um, but still, I, I do have my tracks EQ'd. I have, I do have an Arturia Reverb plate up here. And um, I have like some choruses, some phasers, some distortion uh, plugins. But I would say this thing is doing just fine. As far as the resources go, as far as lag goes, this, this Surface Pro 7 is giving me no issues. The only issues I have are little small issues with the pin that if you try to use this, if you try to use this Surface Pro pin with certain tasks, it just doesn't make sense. It's pretty cool with like doing the faders in the mixer channel and maybe turning some knobs. But really I found for this, the trackpad is the most efficient. The, 
the pen is just something fun to do if you want, but from an efficiency standpoint, it's really not that effective. Um, so I would not really use the pen. So I'm gonna ditch the pen. But the PC itself is working just fine. The only thing that kind of makes it a little tricky to use is because it's so small. The font is so small. So if you're a person that has um, you know, issues with your eyesight, that might become a concern. You might maybe end up having to get like some, some 2X or 1.5X type of reading glasses or something like that. I didn't have much of a problem. Um, I had to lean, I, you had to go ahead and lean in and get intimate with it. You definitely can't be sitting back. But this Surface Pro, there are adapters out there that will allow you to plug up an external monitor. So if you're at your desk or at your home studio, you can plug it up to a bigger screen and a bigger setup. Um, but if you want to something like a Surface Pro, I would assume you're going to be doing some traveling with it and being mobile with it. So for that purpose, it does its job. Very lightweight, very easy to just pack up, throw into the bag, feels very well made. So I'm not really concerned about its ruggedness or about it being cheap materials that will break on me. All in all guys, I'm going to give this one a thumbs up for sure. If you have um, things that you want to do that the Surface Pro will do for you as far as being like a tablet and a computer, um, and you want to use it for something like FL Studio for music production, it's working fine for me here. I haven't had any issues from a resource standpoint. Um, this one only has 256 gigabytes of storage, so that will become an issue pretty quickly um, when, when you're downloading VSTs and sound libraries and those type of things. So I would recommend that you guys already have an external drive so that you can keep your sound banks, keep your sound kits and keep um, certain files, all the things that you can keep off and run from the external hard drive. I would consider that and do some research on how to do that in the most effective way possible um, just to save storage because you only got this one only has 256 gigs. The larger ones, they get really expensive really fast for that additional storage. But I think an external drive does more justice, especially if this is just another option for you. Like me, I have a full blown, really nice studio PC that I built earlier this year. And I would only use something like this when I'm traveling in the airport and hotels and things like that. Um, so for that purpose, again, it does a great job, totally fine. I would recommend you guys get this if it fits your other needs and if you're a Windows guy and just looking for a laptop that can handle it all, um, Surface Pro 7 is, is cooking up pretty good. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I know you guys, please, just, just hit the button, just, where is it? Hit the like button, it really helps me out. Hit that subscribe button, that really helps me out. Drop a comment below if you found this helpful. Let me hear some of your feedback. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you would like to see in some upcoming videos. I'm always open to ideas and hearing what you guys are interested in so I can keep bringing y'all this dope content. Until next time, y'all, this is Al B, and we out.